high Aries. So today we're going to go ahead and do a love reading for you. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Okay, so I'm definitely getting a lot of energy here focused on, for a lot of you, for you, the viewer, with the Queen of Cups here, the Three of Swords, the Strength card, for some of you, this could be a situation to where you do have either triggers that are coming up right now for you, or possibly with the Three of Swords, you know, it could be that there has been some type of breakup or ending. Um, it feels like there is, I'm hearing something about a lot to be learned with the Hierophant coming up at the bottom too, a lot to be learned, the Empress as well. So some of you, this could be a situation and a connection here to where you're learning quite a bit about yourself right now. You're learning about with the strength, you know, how to, I don't know why I'm hearing say it if you need to. So some of you may need to say something to a person. There may be a need to have open communication. The Queen of Wands is crossing this reading. So it feels like there's this energy of possibly um, you having to be very bold and honest. So for some of that could be about communication. I'm seeing like a red bracelet. Somebody could wear like a red bracelet. And I think it represents like the, what is it called? The string of fate or something. It could be wrong, but there's some type of maybe... I don't know if this is the bond that you have with somebody or there's something going on here with the Hierophant. Um, let's see. So this person over here, they're coming up as the sun and their thoughts and feelings for you right now is the two of swords. So whoever this person is that you're connecting to and whoever I'm picking up on today, they're very much swaying back and forth. Like I'm literally seeing somebody sitting on like a chair or like in the wind or something and like swaying from one side to the other side to the other side. So this person could be someone who has been very indecisive when it comes to you. This might be someone again who you have like an existing partnership with right now or an existing kind of situationship with. And it feels like they are swaying from side to side, not sure kind of what... I'm getting Pisces energy too. Someone could have Pisces in their chart or they could be a Pisces. We do have that Queen of Cups here too. So yeah, there could be some water energy, possibly some water, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Four of Cups here too. I definitely feel like the person you're connecting to, they've been working a lot on self-improvement with the sun. So this is somebody who I feel has been working on improving themselves. It feels like they're waiting for some type of green light. So this is interesting. So I don't know exactly what the dynamic of this is, but I'm seeing somebody literally waiting for like a green light. So they could be waiting for a green light to come towards you, to say something to you. It feels like there's a lot of inward focus right now, again, with the strength card here. So you and this person both could be at a distance or you could be just, you know, in a separation. And it feels like with that four of cups, someone here is, even though you have the three of swords, which is why I'm wondering if maybe you feel hurt or you're kind of going through triggers. There's something about waiting to see with the magician, especially this person though, if they're going to have the decision or the courage or something to... It's like I'm seeing someone kind of like buffing up their chest. So especially if they're more of a masculine person, they could be trying to, again, like gather the courage here to do something. I want to confirm what this is. We do have also strong Leo energy. It seems to come up a lot in these collective readings. Um, but I feel like this is definitely someone who's been tugging on your energy energetically, okay? So there's been an energetic focus of this connection. I don't know if this is someone, again, existing or what the exact situation is, but there's something about like a rejection that has taken place um, with the Four of Cups, maybe a feeling of like, where are we going here? A feeling of despair even, I'm hearing. Um, something about just like a stuck train sort of <laughs> that has not been moving. And there's this feeling of like energetically beginning to make moves or strides forward or tugging at this feeling of like, let's move forward here a little bit with the magician. So I definitely feel like this is someone who... I'm hearing something about can't stay away. So it could possibly be someone who does have a hard time staying away from you. Yeah, I, I feel like though they keep bringing me back to something about how this connection, it's like I'm seeing someone behind bars, but the way they're showing it in this context with the Three of Swords, the Queen of Cups, there's something about having to have the inner courage and the inner strength here, which I do feel could also be you though, the viewer. 
you could be someone here who I'm seeing this won't be for everyone. Okay, this will be a specific, but if you've been, I'm seeing someone like drinking too much or medicating themselves or trying to numb out feelings. If that is you, because it is coming up on your side with the Four of Cups too, it could be vice versa. Some of this could overlap, but there's been someone here who's been trying to numb out their pain with maybe um, alcohol or drugs or even just things that like, like not confronting the heart, not confronting the emotions. And it feels like the focus of this reading here is about, I'm hearing something about like time. It's almost like there's a press of time here, like time will not wait around. You know, you're, it's a kind of a feeling of like the time is now to begin to work on something or to begin to clear or to heal something. So let me see, let me confirm a little bit. What is the connection here between you and this person's strength? <clears throat> What is the energy between you and this person? Yeah, there's something about like exposing a raw wound, you know, it's almost like if you have a Band-Aid and when you rip off the Band-Aid, there's this raw wound inside, which is with the Three of Swords here. So I, I don't know what happened here. If maybe some of you do feel like you're in a state right now to where it's like something has either again come up to the surface or it's made you you know it's um, retreat it's time to withdraw from the world or disconnect from the world and then we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together the connection between you and this person strength retreat Yeah, I do feel for many of you, this is a separation that you're in, but it, for some reason, it kind of feels new. So it won't be for everyone if that's the case, but it almost feels like, a, again, like a raw wound that has been exposed. So either this is like a new connection and something happened recently, or this could be that this is, you know, maybe you reconnected, for example, or, and then something happened again, or it could even just be that, you know, during the intense time that we've had recently with the eclipse and everything, maybe something came up to the surface, okay? Because at the bottom, yeah, love yourself first and pay attention to the red flags. So there is something I will say with this reading that feels like it's kind of like, a limbo state at the moment which has been where you've been either you know taking a lot of time to to yourself now to think about like you know how where where do I stand in this connection how what is it that I need to work on within myself and maybe the same goes for them I want to look more at this person in specific but with that waterfall I had seen too with the outcome and the queen of cups it feels like this is I'm also hearing something about healing intimacy but I keep being drawn to you though, the viewer, unless this could be vice versa. So again, take it how it's gonna resonate. Sometimes the energies can, can mix up, but there's something about someone having this like realization that I need to heal my um, intimacy with myself. There's something about like, either again, it was kind of triggered recently, or there's just this awareness of things that are ready to be brought up so that you can experience the bliss of true love or the bliss of, you know, coming together with somebody. And since this magician is here too, I don't know why I'm hearing an honest mistake. I, I don't know what that, how that relates to this, but an honest mistake. Um, let's see, let me look a little bit more here. Where is this person, the sun? The person who we're connecting to or who you are connecting to, how are they showing up here? The sun. The world. So I'm getting this feeling, Eight of Cups at the bottom, whoever this person is that you're connecting to, they seem to be moving away from drama, okay? So, you know, again, like I always say, take this how this will fit with you exactly. If it does happen to be like a connection to where you've been having recent, like a lot of troubles with each other, it could even be that this person does need to take a step back from any type of drama that may have happened between the two of you. And it feels like that could be where this, you know, disconnection of two people uh, taking some time apart right now, that could be. It could also be too that this person does, is stepping away from drama within their other, you know, or their other life, their um, 
external life or something else apart from you. And it feels like that's why they're referencing back to the swinging back and forth. This person is mentally right now, whoever this is, they feel like it's mainly mental. They're kind of at this, you know, and again, it could be that there's like this pivotal moment where this person has to decide, you know, do I continue to maybe invest in this connection with you? And they're kind of swaying back and forth mentally about this. It could also be too that there have been needing to step away from drama or because the world and the sun, especially again with the eclipses we had, there could have been a, a pretty big shift that has happened for this person. And so it feels like they, I'm hearing something about gratitude. I'm seeing somebody writing in like a gratitude journal. So this person could even, it feels like they've really been able to wrap something up or close up a, a pretty big cycle. Um, and I want to look at how they feel about you directly here so we can confirm that because I, I want to see how that connects to you. But the whole reading kind of feels like it's about maybe two people who are mutually going through this cycle change or going through this kind of like, you know, almost moving through this doorway here into something that feels more real or something that is able to disconnect from the lower vibrations. And that's where I, since I did hear too, waiting for the green light or something, it could even be with the Four of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Magician. There's something about someone wanting to spring into action though, or thinking about taking action. So I can possibly see this being the person you're connecting to, pondering a lot right now, um, especially if they have disconnected from something else or even just gone through kind of a shift within their own lifestyle. They could be sort of in this place of like, okay, now that I've done this, um, I'm waiting for the green light to take action here, maybe to, you know, into your connection potentially. Um, but there's, so let me see, how are they <clears throat> thinking and feeling about, okay, that just flew out the star. Yeah, the fool here is at the bottom. There's something really, though, that feels very hopeful here. So I will say it almost feels like a breath of fresh air. It feels like a feeling of like the hope can be renewed. We can leave behind the stormy waters. We can leave behind all of that kind of old energy and we can kind of look ahead now. So it's a very refreshing energy. Even though you do have the three of swords here, it feels like, you know, sometimes we have to go through storms in order to, you know, see the truth. Or sometimes we have to go through a difficult time in order to come out <clears throat> on the other side of that. So I kind of feel like this person, let me see, how are they thinking and feeling about you? Let's look at that. How is this person that's on your mind here, this two of swords, how are they thinking? What's going through their mind and heart about you? Yeah, it's definitely somebody who's at a crossroads. Definitely somebody who's very much kind of almost like weighing the pros and cons here, mentally going back and forth between what to do at the moment. Um, yes, the hanged man, temperance. Yeah, so lots of like very healing energy. And look, we have the devil beneath the temperance. So there's definitely a feeling here, a theme of this reading. It almost feels like a very still waters, you know, and with that waterfall coming up for the outcome, I will look at the outcome, but it feels like there's either going to be this huge release of emotion that will come in between you and this person, or maybe even you or them individually are going to go through this huge release of emotion in order to kind of get to these crystal clear waters of the star. So it feels kind of like a calmness has come over this reading. Um, a calmness of the major cards coming up here of like an ending of one cycle, an ending of one chapter. But in terms of how they're feeling about you, let's see. <clears throat> This person is beginning to awaken their senses, I'm hearing. They could even be, again, I definitely feel like this person could have been numb for a while, or you both have been maybe apart for a while, or maybe they've come out of something. And it almost feels like with a magician, like this magician is looking at the tools, like, okay, what can I do now with this energy? What can I do now with these tools I have in front of me? But I wanna, so what exactly, how they feel about you? Let me see. Because, okay, so I'm getting that it could be that this person, for those of you who, let me confirm, how is this person, what's going through their mind and heart about you right now? Two of swords, yeah, see that card just flew out and then flew back in. 
and again that won't be for everybody but for some of you there has been someone here and addiction doesn't have to be just like a substance you know if, if it is you on your side or even both of you it could just be like old habits it could be old things that have been surfacing for a long time and strength is really about having the inner strength to deal with that to cope with that to kind of like restrain that so I can definitely see there's a lot of focus here on healing from anything that has been addictive or codependent, which I definitely, again, can kind of see being two people or even both of you. How are they thinking and feeling about you? Yeah, it's like this person is very much in their head, though. They keep trying to, I'm hearing like mentally or mentally trying to figure something out. They seem to be... And see, it's interesting that with the Temperance card, there's one foot in and one foot out of the water. So that's kind of that reference of this person swaying back and forth. They seem to be really... This person is in the process of shedding a false persona. Again, with the sun, the world here, I can definitely see that whoever this is that I'm picking up on today, they've really had maybe a hard time in the past with holding on to like a false sense of it or image or a false persona. And with the battling addictions, it could even have been numbed out by certain addictions that they've been holding on to. And it feels like they are really in a process of healing and, and tranquility. So if this is somebody who you are in contact with or someone who you're currently like in a relationship with, I would say that they probably are taking some space or taking some time to, yeah, it's like I'm hearing half, um, half, halfway, or they're very, it's like, again, this person is like one foot in of an old life and one foot in into a new kind of identity in a way. So it's not even like a whole lot of focus on you at the moment, like in terms of how they're feeling about you only because it feels yeah it's like i'm hearing something though that that something will is going to happen here which will purge out this waiting energy like that the waiting will not be forever let me get some more what is this person thinking and feeling about you tell us a little bit more spirit specifically how this relates to how this person is thinking and feeling about you I'm seeing somebody driving like a really fast car, so I don't know if this person maybe did that before, or that can be like the m sort of metaphor for recklessness in some way, but it doesn't have to be. We have telepathically sending love songs, yeah, so bottled up emotion, so there's that waterfall of emotion I'm getting for the outcome. Yeah, it's like, okay, this person, they, it's a really interesting energy. It's hard to kind of put into words because it feels like it's a very spiritual process for this person right now. You could be getting songs, love songs that you're receiving, you know, somehow that you're hearing in your, in your head or you're seeing it on um, the radio or something. But it feels like this person is in a very deeply spiritual process almost like if you walk out from a storm and then the water in front of you is very calm and tranquil but you don't really know what to do with that water you know you don't know how to handle it so there's a feeling of I'm thinking and feeling about you <clears throat> I'm hearing something like this person doesn't want to lose control. They're afraid, <clears throat> excuse me, they're afraid of losing control. I'm seeing a fox here too. Let me see what's going on here. Holding on to past karma, past grudges. At the bottom we have bipolar disorder. I don't feel like this is, you know, someone actually diagnosed with bipolar disorder unless that resonates with you but it's the reference of that swaying back and forth with the two of swords it's somebody who kind of is in, is in a phase right now um of being in two worlds or two different minds you know like with this kind of mask and it's interesting because false persona and the mask they when it comes to you it's it's again kind of hard to put into words exactly but they're kind of like i'll try to explain it the best way possible this person's energy towards you is spiritually connecting with you more frequently or more intensely than before. 
or if it's a newer person, they could be very kind of surprised at how this connection is very spiritual or how like it kind of forces them to move beyond their comfort zone in a way. So if it is somebody who has, for example, you know, went through rehab or something, or they've ended a difficult cycle, or they have become awakened by what you present to them, if it's a newer person, if it's somebody from the past, it's just that I feel like they have stepped out of a, or they're in the process of stepping out from like a past grudge or false persona in their life, you know, it could be a relationship, it could be an identity and they kind of don't know what to do with this new energy just yet but their higher self has been wanting to connect with you spiritually they've been maybe again sending you more synchronicities or songs or you've just been feeling this more calm or connected energy from this person a little bit more but the thing is is that they're kind of the reason that they have one foot in the past is because they may still be holding on to past grudges or past relationship or past um not even that I feel like they're in that situation. For most of you, if this resonates, they're probably not even involved like with somebody else or involved with the other situation. They may have just ended something. Um, but even if they are, it's like they're kind of with the Eight of Cups. Their soul is like one foot in, one foot out. So they're, it's kind of like I keep going back and forth here in the reading because I can't really pinpoint how they feel directly about you because they don't really know themselves. I feel like they are they've had a lot of like bottled up emotions and maybe same goes for you especially if this is someone that you know you have a deep connection with or if you have been dealing with them recently one of the two it's like you also could be feeling this too and that's why you have this three of swords and that's why this waterfall of kind of pent up emotions is going to have to be released so it's almost like with the strength card too in the traditional deck it shows the woman holding the lion's mouth and it feels like that's what this whole connection feels like like a like the energy of like holding a, a lion's mouth and if we let it go it kind of can expose us to our um addictions again or it's like someone who's trying to i wouldn't be surprised if this is if this is somebody who literally is like going through a very intensely healing self-healing journey right now which again could even be both of you um or maybe you've you've kind of shown them that somehow or you've been energetically tuning into that vibration with them but it's definitely someone who is on the brink kind of with the magician of beginning to take uh, their life into their own hands so a little bit more about how they feel directly about you distant going separate ways we have working on self insecurities yeah I mean that's definitely what I think has happened here is so if it is again like a newer person for some of you this could have happened just now like recently and you may be wondering like why did this happen why did this person do that or what happened here and I think that the reason for that if that is your, your story is because two people need to be whole you know to come together and it feels like one or both of you was not and possibly with the two of swords it could even be with the eight of cups here you know, again, maybe you both went your separate ways recently or you're on a break right now with this retreat. There's two people going into the distance here. And if that is the case, if this was a recent thing for some of you to where you went on a break with each other, this was very much needed and required because this person is someone who is going to continue to sway back and forth between what they really want um, with this here. And they may be on a journey of like, I need to step away from any drama right now. I need to step away from anything that can be too intense right now. If it is not a new person, again, this could be someone who could be going separate ways with something else or they're in the midst. I don't think they're really, it's, it's like I keep getting this kind of back and forth though with the Two of Swords. They may either be still unsure if they want to reconnect with you or they may be unsure like if they have separated from some some somebody else or something else. They're kind of in that like kind of I need a green light to move to, to you or to move into this connection or back into this connection. So they're kind of like floating here in the water a little bit. Because um, I keep trying to get more information about how what's going through their mind and their heart about you. What is going through this person's mind and heart about you, the viewer? I'm seeing somebody reading a lot of self-help books, like spiritual books. So again, that could be you or them. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, the moon. 
Yeah, definitely. Like whoever this is, I feel like they have um, certainly they're in a phase right now of needing to go within. Um, so just know that that's where they are. And it feels like if it is a separation, they've been really like shining light, almost like with a flashlight on these wounds that they've been maybe hiding for a while, these addictions that have been within them. So with the moon here and the self insecurities, it's not about you. You know, it's almost like this reading I keep trying to pry into what they're feeling, but it keeps wanting to go into the situation as a whole. So it's not like a, it's not about you. So some of you may, maybe need to know that, that whatever's happening at the moment is not personal with what is going on between the two of you. Um, but if it is also, again, just somebody from the past that you haven't spoken to, they don't want to rush here ahead. They don't want to rush into something. They're waiting for like, I think the green light for them I don't even think it's about anything that you can do. It's more of like they're waiting for their own green light, if that makes sense. They're waiting for... This person has a bit of anger I'm getting for some reason. I'm hearing something about like a missed opportunity. I don't know if this is someone who did miss an opportunity with you, or maybe they just kind of feel that they... There's like this little bit of an uncomfortable energy coming from this person when it comes to how they're feeling about you and in general. They... Yeah, it's like I'm being shown somebody who would shoot like for a dartboard and then kind of miss the board. So they don't really know where... The, it's like trying to have like a blindfold on with the moon. They're shooting in the dark with the two of swords. So they don't really know how to maybe like behave right now with you or they don't know how to talk to you at the moment. So they're, they, they need to, I will say with the bipolar here in the moon, again, it won't be for everybody, but for some of you, they could have been going through a lot of, you know, mental health um, issues. This person could be someone who has been really needing to heal right now with the temperance card. They've been needing to take a step back and really look at their own mental state, look at their own mental health. Um, and if it is somebody who's struggled for a long time, though, with that, they could be becoming, you know, healing, beginning to recover, beginning to look into ways to heal themselves and, you know, self-help and maybe spiritual topics. With the sun coming up, this person is definitely healing. And that's why either if it's a newer person, they don't want to maybe like have any drama right now. Or if it's just somebody from the past, they've been... They don't, they don't know if like right now is the best time to do anything, even though they could be kind of awakening on the spiritual level. I hope that makes sense. It's like their 5D self is becoming more awakened or enlightened here and could even be sending you signs or synchronicities. But their 3D self is in the process of like, now it's time for me to heal. Now I've seen the light of what I need to heal. I've kind of ripped off the false persona and now can be kind of a time of like, focusing on self. So I don't know who this is for here, but that's what I'm getting. So let's see a little bit more. Um, actually, I'm going to do a, I'm going to pull from this Uh, bowl <laughs> and then we'll pull again at the end for another round but I'm going to see what comes up here so I'm just going to pause and mix this up because it's going to be very loud and then we'll pull some okay so let's pull some And before I talk about this, I just want to say that, of course, it's impossible to do thousands of these. So if if you resonate with this reading and your name or any details, none of it resonates with you, that's completely okay. It does not mean that the reading is not for you. Okay, I definitely want to say that because I know some people will maybe get disappointed, but it, it would be impossible to have everyone's name, obviously. So if it does not resonate, that's okay. It doesn't mean it's not for you. It could just be certain people's guides want to bring more confirmation. Maybe you, you're doubting yourself or you're doubting the reading. 
And on that same note too, if you do not resonate with this reading and your name is called, it could be somebody else's name. So just listen to your intuition if it resonates with you or not. So let's start with names here. We have Natalia. We have Christy with a K. We have Victor. We have Marcy. Jose. Aubrey. We have Glare. We have Christine with a CH and spelled this way. We have Ahmad. Marquise, if I'm saying that right. We have Sharon. Andrea. Claudia. And Noel. And let's see if we have. Yes, okay. And then we also have life path number four. So this could be for somebody who has a life path number four. We have locations, Arizona, Alabama, Poland, Macon, the city of Macon, Sweden, Sydney, city of Sydney, could be a name too, I guess. Uh, New Orleans. Virginia could also be a name. Philippines. Rhode Island. And Liverpool. Okay, so definitely let me know if any of those resonate. I would be really curious to see if any of these names or locations resonate with you. But yeah, so we'll maybe pull a few more. We did get a lot, but maybe we'll pull a few more at the end. So, all right, so let me see a little bit more as to what, let's see a little bit more about what is this person, what kind of emotions are coming up for them from this emotion deck? Tell us a little bit more, Spirit, about this person, with their emotions, their thoughts, their, what kind of emotions are they dealing with here? Yes, unsure, clearly unsure. They're definitely with the Two of Swords, like I said, swaying back and forth. Whoever this is, they're very unsure. They're very much... So why are they coming up? Let me ask that question here, because I want to see... What does this person kind of want with you? Why are they coming through in the reading for you? Why is this person coming through today, Spirit? What, is, what does this person kind of want with the viewer of the reading? Because it's definitely clear that they have insecurities to work through at the moment and they're very much not sure which way to go. Um, so what do they want with the viewer? Why are they coming up here today? Well, I'm getting that they kind of, again, this person seems to like be inspired by you. Yes, worth waiting for and give your relationship a chance. With the Queen of Wands, I think this person looks up to you in some way. I don't, I want to know why, again, this Three of Swords is here for you. Um, but it seems like this person seems to want something with you. So again, the scenario is if it's a newer person, they don't really want to give this up. This person does not want to see this connection kind of go away or to not be with you or to not at least give this a chance. There's definitely a lot of divine timing in this connection. So it is a connection that's worth waiting for, I feel. It doesn't mean that you should, you know, wait for this forever or anything like that. But I definitely feel like this person, the reason or one of the reasons they're coming up here is because they do feel I'm hearing something about push beyond the limit or push beyond the comfort zone. So maybe you are somebody who would, you know, to be with you or to 
date you or whatever the case is would really push them beyond their comfort zone and they know that and I think that they kind of want it but they also are afraid of it so they're that's why they're in between those two worlds that's why they've been swaying back and forth a little bit um, the seven of wands what does this person want with you why are they coming up here It almost feels like an uncomfortable energy has happened though and that's why i wonder if maybe something recently happened that was uncomfortable for one or both of you um with the three of swords and it's almost like we're waiting for that kind of uncomfortable kind of like if you pull a splinter out of your hand or something and you kind of have to wait for that splinter to heal it's like the the residue or not the residue but the pain of that will still kind of persist if that makes sense um yeah eight of pentacles and the four of swords so what they want with you here I love you to the moon and back. Love still burns. Some of you could have children with this person. That's only for a few of you. Or if there's children involved, I'm seeing like, or could even be tapping into the inner child. They obviously still have love for you. This person does still, if it's like someone that you do have, like that you've been with for a while or that you've known, they do love you. They've loved you for a long time or they definitely still have feelings for you. There's still love burning for you. And when I shuffle this messages deck, which I'm actually going to use right now, it makes sense because at the bottom of the deck here we have dance neither of us are admitting our true feelings who is going to make the first move and then we have shallow you deserve someone who can meet you halfway i'm not ready for the real deal yeah so this person that makes a lot of sense because especially if this is somebody who was not able to give you more from this connection or this is someone who kind of with the four of cups again they have a lot of like their own mental stuff going on especially if they didn't like tell you this and you didn't know like why do they act this way or what it's definitely because they've been struggling with their own false persona and i think that their uncertainty has made them kind of appear to not care but i don't really think that's what it is i, I think this person does care but they with the dance here maybe especially if it's been like no contact or you had a falling out and who's gonna say something first who's gonna break the ice type of thing um and I'm getting that they're definitely still holding on hope. Yeah, look at that. We have magic and spy. So with the magician here, it is somebody, especially those of you who have been in no contact or not together for a while, their energy has not left your kind of vicinity. They have not stopped like wanting to sort of call you in, even if they don't know they're doing it. They're very much like stuck on you in a way, which is interesting with the seven of pentacles they are kind of like not budging from this connection, but also swaying back and forth between what to do further. So it's a little bit of like a interesting mixture of that, but they know that they have to do something here. They know that there's this. I'm here. Yeah, I'm hearing self-fulfilling prophecy. It's definitely somebody who struggles with that. They definitely struggle with like their self-fulfilling prophecy. Again, very clear message in this reading today. I've been focusing my life around myself lately, and I'm not sure if I want to spend my time with somebody else right now. So again, this is definitely a pretty clear message. If this is for you, then you'll know because it's somebody who, who has either pulled back recently or they've just been someone who has been disappeared for a while. And I think that they've they don't want to give up though on this connection. I think that's the reason that they're coming through in the reading. They don't want to give up on this. They've been working behind the scenes on this. They've been trying to, I'm hearing picture perfect life. They could have even been somebody who held like a picture perfect life. They may have had like a certain lifestyle or maybe they pretended for a while like this job is fulfilling them or this making this much money is enough for them or if they had like another relationship. It's like that's been shattered in some way. They kind of like realize that life is not picture perfect and their life has not been picture perfect. So let me see what they want to say to you and then we'll look at the outcome here. What does this person want to say to you, whoever this is today? What do they want to tell you with the temperance, the two of swords, 
the hanged man, the sun. What are they truly thinking and feeling about you? Yeah, I'm seeing somebody doing yoga, but I'm seeing like how they're trying to touch their toes and they can't, they're like very inflexible. So that could literally be somebody who like is just beginning, becoming introduced to those types of things and they just like haven't moved their body in a while or they don't know. But it can also be, I guess, like metaphorically too, to where they kind of have been inflexible in many ways. And they, something about them though is beginning to stretch or to expand. We have yes spontaneous sometimes i just want to take a chance message you and see what happens remember i said to waiting for the green light so for those of you who have been waiting for contact from this person or you kind of have been feeling recently like something could be happening or you, you kind of like you know feel this or like um feeling like maybe they do want to contact you they seem to be like waiting at like a yellow light or waiting at like a red light and they're waiting for that light to turn green. I just don't know. I don't think it's something unless that resonates with you that like you are someone who's been feeling an urge to contact them or an urge to kind of send them a sign, then do that. But if that's not the case, it's just their own working of themselves that they have to kind of wait for divine timing in a way for them to take that chance. And here's at the bottom change. I'm afraid of change. Being with you means I would need to change many things in my life and I'm not sure if I'm ready yet. So that's that reference of like the yoga to this person could be someone who has been very inflexible. And with the sun in the world, I think that they've somehow something has happened that has maybe shattered that per false persona or they've become aware of the fact that they've been bottling up many emotions. Um, what else is this? But so yeah, they could be spontaneously or thinking about spontaneously reaching out to you. And this could actually could be weighing heavy on their mind. They could even be thinking about it a lot, like with the Two of Swords, like maybe it's time now for me to do this. Maybe I'm ready to say something. And if it is, again, like a newer person, this is like a recent ending or a recent falling out, they could be like, like, like let me, let, I don't want this to be over. Let me just reach out, see if you're still mad at me, something like that for some of you as well. We have mirror. Yeah, it definitely feels like a mirroring connection. The way that I feel about you is exactly how you're feeling about me. So that's probably why I'm going back and forth between being confused over here because it's likely that you both have a similar kind of trajectory right now where you have a similar path at the moment or you just kind of, um, you just mirror each other. You feel very similar about each other and especially if it is someone who you've been both thinking about, is this over, is it not over? You, you, you feel very similar, if not identical. And that's with the outcome here being the Queen of Cups, I feel like there may be a chance to purge those heavy emotions and realize that eventually we have to either do something about it or move on. Like we can't hold on to those heavy emotions for so long. And I think that you both are hurting in different ways, maybe about each other, but it isn't easy to make this work. There are many obstacles in our way. So th that could be where... The obstacles could be their mental health, it could be other factors, but it feels like with the Temperance and the Two of Swords, they've been trying to at least level up. Yeah, the clean here. I've been cleaning up my life and my act. I don't want to live a low vibrational life any longer. Yeah, it's just somebody who realizes that they need to clean up their life. They don't want to live, especially if they were reckless, especially if they are somebody who is like entering therapy or rehab and they kind of had a very reckless life. They don't want to be like that anymore. They don't want to be that type of person anymore circles we keep going around and around i don't want it to be this way anymore i just said that um i play it cool but deep inside i'm feeling all types of things that i can't explain yeah this person is someone who definitely they're a little bit maybe emotionally immature like they have a hard time just like saying this is who i am this is how i feel and i think it's been a struggle for them for a while like it's not been easy to be who they are or in their life in their mind they've been kind of carrying around that false persona for so long so it feels like it's this circle. So let's look at the outcome and see if this circle will end. What's what's the outcome here between you and this person in the next month or so? Month or two. Between you and this person with the Queen of Cups. This person could put you on a pedestal, I'm getting, for some of you. And again, since you mirror each other, it could even be both of you. Maybe both of you in different ways put each other on a pedestal. And that's why this connection feels like it's still burning but also still circling you know still struggling we have soulmate yes this is your soulmate 
make the effort. What is the outcome between you and this person in the next month or two? I don't know why they're showing me children again. So maybe some of you either met when you were very young, when you were children, or you have children. It's like I'm hearing a spirit say no more horseplay. So it's like two children who are running around trying to circle around each other, avoid like the actual serious topic of the fact that yes, we have this connection. Yes, we are soulmates or yes, there's this very strong connection between us. And I'm getting that with the Queen of Cups here. The only way or the sort of the, the fastest way here with the Queen of Cups is to take a look at the self, which I definitely think is both of you. And it feels like, you know, maybe more one person than the other, but it's like great love is worth taking the risk that you're guided to take. There's something about circling around in maybe like an immature way or circling around the idea of like who, what's going to happen here? Who's going to do it first? Or are we going to continue to ignore kind of how we feel? And I think that that's what's on the table here with this connection. The Ten of Wands. What's the outcome between you and this person the next month or two? Yeah, that false persona is still being carried. The Two of Wands, again, indecision. The Knight of Wands. I don't know why I'm hearing bloodline. So maybe some of you are needing to heal maybe some ancestral patterns or something in the bloodline. What's the outcome between you and this person? Knight of Swords. Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's the circling around. For some of you, you will maybe have contact with each other, especially if you're already in contact. There's still going to be kind of like a circling around. I don't know why they keep giving me the analogy of like two children who are playing games. So even if, you know, maybe some of you are playing games too, I don't know. Or maybe there's this feeling of the confusion is causing both of you to play games three of cups and the seven of cups there's definitely a feeling moving forward here of a lot of mental activity so a lot of you may be thinking about each other a lot in the next month or two and especially this person with the knight of swords thinking a lot about you and kind of circling around that idea so again it feels like this image of someone who like if you're at a coffee shop or something it's just the kind of the image they're showing me and there's this person in the background maybe thinking like should I say something should I say hello should I ask them out should I express my interest um, and so it kind of applies to how this person could be feeling about you like should I or should I not and it feels like maybe both of you could be either going around in circles with this at the moment uh, despite the fact that there could be a strong connection here so I don't know, the outcome is kind of... Outcome between you both. So yeah, this is, someone has to do something. Someone has to break the ice. So that could be communication for some of you. Someone may have to break the ice here. <laughs> ice pluck. I love it. In the next lifetime, emotionally withdrawn. Yeah, I will say for this reading, it kind of feels, and of course this is just a general reading and it, this is only looking for the next month or two, but it kind of feels like whoever this is, if this resonates with you, there's this really frustrating energy of like, can we just do it or not? And it's almost like if it doesn't happen or if the move is not made, it's like maybe someone's going to move on and just say, okay, well, in the next lifetime, maybe. So there's, it almost feels too like there's a lot of free will with this to where anything can happen. Anything can go. There's an opportunity to maybe make the effort if one chooses to with their own free will, or if not, with the three of swords maybe you're going to feel hurt over this and like trying to almost pry somebody out of their shell and that's where i think this kind of at least for the next month or two that kind of circle is going to continue to where it feels like there's no one who's going to do anything maybe more or it's like a feeling of the progress is not being sufficiently made here so it seems like it's because of these ice block of emotions so i don't know it just right now i think it's going to be left lingering in the air 
um, and the circle, kind of the cat and mouse game, may still continue here, unfortunately, is what I'm getting. But And it seems like this will have to play out in a later time. You know, we can't see right now what's going to happen further down the road, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. What is the advice for the viewer with the Three of Swords? What is the advice for the viewer? They want you to open your heart. I'm getting for you, the viewer. There's something about maybe you've been very sheltered and protected, I'm hearing. Yes, new love. So heart to heart conversations. Again, I don't know if maybe you have multiple options. For some of you with the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, you could even have multiple people who are about to enter your life, or maybe you already have two people or more than two people interested in you. If not, it's just like energetically that waterfall of emotion. You may need to just like kind of purge that out and whatever's going to happen will happen type of thing. That ice block with the Queen of Cups is where that stagnant emotion is, where it kind of has to be released and a feeling of like, you know, you have to open your heart now, open your heart a little bit more to love. Um, it could also be that if this is you too, you know, if you are the one who is holding back, if you're the one who's emotionally withdrawn, maybe because of an ex-partner, I don't know. There's something about like, either way, figure out how you can kind of purge those emotions, break the ice within your own life, because there's a heavy weight that's being carried here with the Ten of Wands, which is making love difficult in general. It's making this connection difficult. And of course, it's both of you, but still... Um, the advice for you is to think about how you can open your heart to new love, whatever that's going to mean for you. Okay. So I'm going to pull just a few more of these before we go. It's thundering outside. So I think it's about to storm and my dog is going to get scared. So, um, but let's, let's pull just a few more of these. So anyone else spirit that needs to come up today, any other... characteristics and yeah that bottled up emotion could be you I mean I think it's both of you but for some of you it's also you so we have Christine again so I guess I wrote that twice so if Christine is watching is definitely for you we have two Christines um, we have Laurel We have Jasmine. We have Pia. We have Haiti. 